All right, Adam, thanks so much for joining us. You know, at one time, we weren't even sure that we would get to this point, but here we are. We made it to the postseason. It all starts next week. What are your thoughts on Class 6A? Obviously, North Shore is a favorite, but looking at the brackets, what other teams do you see making a long run? Yeah, um, you know, the Class 6A Division I Region Three bracket um, is always uh, what we consider to be the toughest in the state and among the toughest in the nation. Uh, but so many great teams outside of North Shore. You know, for me, it's it, it's Tompkins, you know, who's just been outstanding this year. They have the win that nobody else has uh, in Houston, in my opinion, and, that, and that's uh, beating Katie and ending that 75 game district streak. Um, that's, I think, the, the biggest win from any team, re regular season win from any team this year from a Houston area team. Um, and I think a win like that kind of, you know, catapults you into the postseason and just kind of gives you all the confidence that, yeah, you know, we know there's North Shore, you know, we know there's South Fair and these other teams where, you know, we can be there too. And I think Tompkins is definitely feeling like they can be that team. Uh, but speaking of South Fair, I mean, listen, they, they're an elite program uh, here in the Houston area and, and they get far and deep into the postseason every year just because they know what they're doing. You know, that culture, that coach is there. You know, you talk about LJ Johnson, you know, you know running a rock and, and uh, you know, just always playing great defense. They seem to kind of rise to the occasion when they get into the playoffs. Hey, I tell you what, personally, I'm looking forward to a possible Tompkins Cy Fair second round matchup. That would be a must see game. What about 5A? Who do you see having a chance to make it to state there? Yeah, in the Houston area, the 5A division has been, you know, a lot more competitive at the top than it has been in recent years. Uh, Manville is definitely up there. They've been outstanding this year. Uh, Gabriel Larry has been kind of, of a re revelation for them at quarterback, and they've They've had some good quarterback play over the last couple of years. Um, they're still the team to beat, you know, and I think that doesn't change in the playoffs. And then, of course, you, you know, you can't have this conversation without Marshall, you know. And, and again, Marshall's another team that it's just very different this year. You know, they, they lost a lot to graduation, you know, and I feel like people haven't paid attention as much as they did the last couple of years. You know, last couple of years, it was, you know, all these great players and, kind of the best class ever and now they're younger but it's still Marshall you know just don't don't get it twisted Marshall is still a team that definitely has expectations to go deep into the playoffs all right Adam